about a week later, they started to come around and do this thing to the brain. We were all supposed to have it done on this ward. Well, they came around and did it one at a time, one at night. I was one of the last, and I could see quite clearly what they did to the others. Well, they used to come around with these... I don't know what they were, though. They looked like big pincers with wires on, and the wires were attached to a little machine. Well, it was electric. And they used to hold the man down, and this chief, the chief doctor, used to fit the pincers, or something like earphones, he used to fit them on either side of the man's skull, and there was a man holding the machine, you see, and he'd turn it on, and the chief would just press these pincers on either side of the skull and keep them there. But then he'd take them off. They'd cover the man up and... They wouldn't touch him again until later on. Well, some used to put up a fight, but most of them didn't. They just lay there. Well, they were coming around to me, and the night they came, I got up and I stood against the wall. And they told me to get on the bed, and I knew they had to get me on the bed because if they did it while I was standing up, then they might break my spine. So I stood up. And then one or two of them came for me. Well, I was younger then. I laid one of them out and I had another one around the throat. And then suddenly this chief had these pincers on my skull. And I knew he wasn't supposed to do it while I was standing up. And that's why I... Anyway, he did it. So I did get out. I did get out of the place, but I couldn't walk very well. I don't think my spine was damaged. That was perfectly all right there. Trouble was, my thoughts had become very slow. I couldn't think at all. I couldn't get get my thoughts together um, I could never never quite get it together well the trouble was I couldn't hear what people were saying I couldn't look to the right or left I had to look straight in front of me because if I turned my head around that I couldn't keep upright I had these headaches I used to sit in my room and that was when I lived with my mother and my brother well he was younger than me and I, I laid everything out in order in my room all the things I knew were mine but I didn't die thing is, I should have been dead. I should have died. Anyway, uh, I feel much better now. But I don't talk to people now. I stay clear of places like that calf. I, I never go in them now. I don't talk to anyone like that. I've often thought of going back and trying to find the man who did that to me. But I want to do something first. I want to build that shed out in the garden. <laughs>